Do we want to check in and get an app or something and start building it or? What is the, specifically, what would be the purpose? So the reason I'd, I'd ask TC about gamification kind of things and strategizing along those lines um, is for, for two, two parts. Um, one is reaching out to the individual candidates. And that's, that's what this letter is of gamifying the candidates. And so trying to apply that same, put that same pressure on the challengers and the incumbents in each district, where if the two parties said, screw you guys, we are never, ever, ever going to hold a vote on your crowdsourced legislative package. You guys keep yourself out. We're in charge of legislation. You can't have nothing to do with it. Then we'd have no, then what could you do? But when one of them, one of them starts to break and is like, yeah, it's in my best interest to go along with your crowdsourced legislation, then there's, then that creates pressure for the other side to do the same thing. And so that's the, the gamification part that I'm, I'm trying to bring to this is where you, you, encourage, you encourage them to, to take sides against each other in our favor um, instead of standing against us disrupting the duopoly. Make any sense? So more specifically, um, the way this is set up is that October 15th is the day that um, challengers and incumbents compete for the endorsement. It is a national national day of fasting that you can participate and pledge your commitment to um, to supporting this by participating in the fast or by um, taking a selfie at a at your polling place as as a way to commit yourself to voting together to solve these problems. And so then the challenger and the incumbent on both have the opportunity on social media to do the same thing and say, yes, we want to be part of this group and we want to get this group's block of votes. And so the, the strategy is the challenger has to act first. And if they, um, if they do, then the incumbent has an incentive to jump in and try and steal those, those votes back from the challenger. But the pressure on the challenger is that if they take up these terms and say, incumbent we want you to end poverty and mass incarceration and the endless wars and the incumbent actually does then the challenger gets what they want and so they're expected to step aside for 2022 so that's the that's the gamification strategy for candidates and then there's a larger one for how do we gamify this for congress as a whole if we can say for sure that we control a half a dozen u.s senate seats and a dozen house seats and control the balance of power, how do we use that leverage against the major parties in Congress to get them on board with trying to capture as many, how do we, make, how do we use that leverage to persuade them to, to put this on the president's desk? Um, so you could do different, you know, different things like saying, all right, whichever party has the most votes in favor of this, this legislation will get you know, all of these seats gamification part where I thought Nissan, um, you, you could be, you could help strategize how to put the most pressure on the party as a whole by holding these seats hostage. I'm excited about this. Uh, what do you got, Nissan? And I don't think I have anything at this very moment, but I, well, I'm sure I could come up with a few things. So it's going to take it's going to take me a little, a little while to get this get this thing going. Nissan, maybe we could follow up later this week or something. And uh, sounds uh, great. Yeah, let me know what time you got available, and uh, we'll hash some of it out. Or we could uh, we could do a Google Doc or something where we all could put our ideas in there. That's also a wonderful see how idea. They mesh up. I don't have permission for the agenda. <laughs> I'll be more conscious of that. Okay. Um, well, that's exciting. Yay. I feel like we got something done. My dopamine's rushing.